Hola. I mean, hoy hoy. Man, I can't break character now. What am I thinking? It's Friday, but now it's almost Saturday because it's 11.40. If you look at my eyes right now, they are bloodshot. Why is that, you may ask? I've spent the past... Eight hours, basically, editing. And I told you, I'm into hardcore editing mode. Um, because this is the time of year where that happens. Um, and that's, you know, that's the life of a film kid. Um, I didn't upload a video yesterday because, um, I was editing. And I didn't upload a video the day before. I made an episode the day before, but I didn't upload it because our internet was down all across Ontario if you were subscribed to Rogers for your internet. So everybody's Rogers internet was down, and I'm sorry I feel out of it. Oh man, gas. Um, and I mean I am out of it. I'm on high stress mode right now, which is making me naughty, right? And so past couple of days have not been good for me. Um, in terms of stress, in terms of, look at these forehead wrinkles, and then in terms of food, really has not been good for me, uh, have not been making the best decisions, mostly because, uh, right now I'm in the mode where I'm gonna grab something fast so I can get back to work, because, um, we're making a Boomdiata PSA, not, it's not a PSA, it's a promo video for the grade 8s that are coming to our school, and we want to bring them to our video tech program. So today, after school... We spent three hours sitting, not sitting, uh, recording uh, a choir class. And uh, what was the problem with that was that it took a long time, and the song we're doing, we're doing a sort of uh, version of the Discovery Channel Boom Diada. Uh, if any of you saw that, it was pretty cool, um, but. It was assigned to us about two months ago, I'd say, um, and all of that has been spent planning because it's a really big shoot. Um, like, it's a really big shoot, and we don't have many shots, and the shots that we did have were absolutely horrible. I spent three classes making an amazing backing track, and I promise you, and I, and I you know, I kid you not, this backtrack took me, a, this backing track took me a long time. Um, it had 24 different tracks of different instruments. Uh, four of which were live. Um, I took a track with 20 different people doing a clap on, like, I can't do it loud, because it's 11.42 at night, but, um, is that really that loud? That's pretty cool. Um, can you even hear that? I don't know. But if I do that, you can probably hear But literally, the song was so boring um, because it is four so it is four chords. It's um, and it goes on for six six minutes and a bit, like six and a bit minutes, and it is so boring so repetitive and the way the choir sang it it was very good the way the choir sang it um i'm gonna see if i can pull it up uh no that's not what i want i want weave 34 fast i believe weave 34 boom either way and it sounds pretty good um but i wanted it to be a constant tempo at 120 which let me listen to my clock here is Which would be good, because you want a constant tempo so that you can sync the video up with it, and it's easy, and, like, you can...
That's what I had to listen to, and that went through four times. It's a, how long is it? It's a five minute song because I sped it up. Um, but when we record, and I cut out verses because they were just so long. It was Stairway to Heaven, but like slow and boring and choir. Um, so <laughs> let me explain to you how stressful my day was today. Um, I got to, I woke up late um, because I went to bed. Uh, around 11 and I couldn't fall asleep till 3. I woke up with a migraine. It was terrible. I had such a headache. And it wasn't from editing. It was just from lack of sleep for the past couple of days. Um, and so I didn't get to sleep. And then I woke up and I had to get to school early. I was going to walk this morning. And uh, then I got up and I fell back down because I was just so tired. And uh, then last night my dad offered to give me a ride. He also offered that if I drive my mom to work then I can have the car that day. But I was legitimately planning I wanted to walk today. Um, uh, so, but I got up and it was pouring rain outside for January, which is annoying. Uh, all the snow is melting, which isn't the worst thing, but I mean, it's still kind of sad because I like the snow a little bit. Um, so I really wanted to do that today. But I was so tired, I could not, I didn't have the energy to do it. Um, so I had my dad, uh, I wanted my dad to drive me, but he, he got in a huff, he was very tired, and he was, he was very tired too. He got mad at me, and he, he told me to take the car, so I took the car, and in a rage, it was very, it was, we got into a bit of a fight, uh, later this afternoon when I went home looking for my backpack. I stayed in all lunch to work on this Boom Diata video, um, and I was so, when I was directing this morning in, uh, broadcasting, when I was directing our school's news, um, my job is I have to sit there and I have to tell people what I want them to do. And for the past week, I have been. And I've been told that I am uh, one of the better directors in the class. Uh, only because <laughs> I know what I want. And so I do this and um, I'm telling the cameras what shots I want. And the most annoying bit is when they don't have their hands on their cameras, they don't have their headsets on, they don't listen to me. And so I'm sitting there trying to tell them to move the camera to the proper framing, and they don't. And I'm already upset, like I'm already grumpy. Like I'm very grouchy this this morning. And uh, then one of the camera people came out and uh, on, on air I was telling them to adjust your camera. Um, because we have a graphic, so you'll say, like, we'll have a picture here, and then a title bar underneath, just like a lower third graphic. Um, and so, well, if the graphic's here in this white space, then my head has to be right in between the, the graphic and the other side of the frame. So, I, uh, I tell him, you gotta be in the center. Then he comes out after the run-through, and he says, now, Ted, this is just, a this is just an idea, but... I don't think it's very professional to move the camera on air. Um, it just looks sloppy. And I said to, I said straight up, if it's not sloppy if you do it properly, if you kept your hands on your camera, if you took the locks off, you'd be able to move it smoothly. Well, I don't think it would. I just don't think it's very professional. There's no point of you being a camera person. There's no point of camera people in general if you're not going to move the camera. Tripods are great. They steady the shot. The reason that they have handles is so you can adjust it. And yes, you're going to adjust on air because people are going to move. So, anyways, then another, then the other camera person comes out because apparently I was being too bossy. And that, this was yesterday uh, when I was in a pretty good mood. Um, and I put up a, a no, a no bullshit um, directing front. And I'm not going to say, you know, my word is law, no one else has input. People always have input. Always. Especially when I'm directing on stage, I like to be high energy, and I like to bring the performers into um, into their roles instead of putting them into my roles. Um, so, uh, th this girl came out and she said, Ted, you're being, you're being a camera Nazi. And I said, uh, I'm not trying to be, I'm sorry. And, uh... This is me venting. I'm not mad at this girl. I love this girl a lot. Um, but she said, you know what? I'm not even gonna... I just don't want to do camera today. And uh, you know what? That's understandable. She's been under a lot of pressure too because she's doing the same Boom Diata video. And what I said was, okay, fine. Find someone else to do it. Uh, and she did. 
Um, and this was the guy who called me unprofessional for wanting to move on air. <sighs> Anyways. And I don't have a grudge against any of these people, and I know it's just conflicting styles. Um, but I come from the gritty world of broadcast, and I, I'm going to describe it that way because it kind of is that way. Um, the world of film is everything's planned out, everything's precise. You want, uh, depending on what type of year look you're going for, when I'm doing my, uh, my uh, university, I wanted a bit of a um, edgier feel. So um, I got a lot of out-of-focus shots. I got a lot of uh, shoulder cam shots. Um, I got a really nice smooth. There was actually a Santa hat, and I'm going to talk about this. This is going to be a long episode, so just a warning. I just have to cover three days. Um, so yeah, I was just grumpy. Didn't get a lunch. Um, but So to wake up today, I... Uh, went to the breakfast place across the street and I picked up two eggs uh, with three sausage, two pieces of toast, and home fries, and that was a bad decision. Really, today was terrible. Honestly, just just terrible in terms of eating. Um, then period four after lunch, um, I... I was crashing again from the small coffee I had, so I asked my friend, I gave her 360, and said, pick me up a monster, or I'm going to crash, because I stayed at school till 6 o'clock this evening, just getting work done on this video, um, so I've been there from 8 till 6, no, yeah, 8 till 6, um, which is 10 hours, that's, that's a long school day, um, period 5, I got my workout, <laughs> Uh, I was literally running from my classroom to uh, the library five times. I literally ran, which was good. And today I ran a couple times. And uh, something that I've noticed is it's easier, which is awesome. And I'm not as out of breath, which is even awesomer. Um, so I'm finding I have more energy, except for when I'm sleepy. Um, and I don't know why I'm staying up till midnight right now. But I'll t actually, I'll tell you why, and I'll show you why. I still have... I think you can see that. An hour ten left of rendering on breakdown. Um, and I need to see this rendered. I need to see this done. Uh, or else <laughs> I'm not going to see it done. Um, and I've got a gig tomorrow afternoon in Lambeth. So that means I'm going to have to probably wake up at ten so I can load the car for eleven so we can be there. Um... No, I'm going to have to wake up at 11 so we can load the car for for 12, so we can be there for 1 to set up for our show at 2, and then I'm going to have to leave at uh, 3.30 so I can get to my church, so I can do sound till 8. <sighs> then I'm going to come home and I'm going to edit till 12, and um, a lot of people say I'm a madman for doing this, and you know what, this is probably taking a couple days off my life. Um... Well, maybe a couple minutes, but uh, I love it. I love feeling. <laughs> I love feeling like this. I love when things get built up because it just gives me. It gives. I mean, now, now I'm not gonna say it gets you too built up, because uh, too too much build is not good. Um, but my mom always tells me, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So you just take chunks away. And so uh, I worked on the music. I got a bass track. I got a basic guitar track going over it, um, and then I'm going to put some more instruments in, you know, Sunday, or tomorrow, I guess, because, yeah, that's got to be done for tomorrow, uh, Sunday I'm back at church in the morning, and then, you know, just a lot of stuff at once, I'm going to show you a frame, actually, from my video, just so you can sort of get a taste of what's going on, um, you really can't see that well, uh, but, yep, yeah, my color scheme, I decided to go blue for my color scheme. Um, let's touch down a bit. Uh, I made my color scheme blue just to show sort of the emotional um, feeling of the of the scene being blue. Uh, I took out all other colors. I made, I, I took, um, I took, I made it black and white by, uh, oh man, I can't even think straightly. Um, did I take out the contrast? Did I take out the tint? Oh, frick, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, anyways, I made it black and white and then I tinted it blue. Um, 
So yeah, all the blacks I turn blue, all the mids I turn blue, all the white highlights I turn blue. Um, so I just made it monochromatic, which I kind of like to show the uh, one-sidedness of of the relationship breaking down and the and how um, all these things boil down to one thing and uh, all all these conflicts boil down to one main conflict which is you know we should never have gotten married so young we should never have had these children so young so I wanted to show that all these different um, shades of sadness and shades of angst come down into one big moment of change right um, and just so you know that was all made up on the spot I'm a genius I know um, so let's talk about two days ago, now that I have my Cornelius hair. Two days ago, breakfast was uh, Cheerios. And, you know, it was a good day for, for food. Lunch, I came home and I had a microwave meal. And those things are great because I know, how, I know exactly how many calories are in them. I know exactly what's in them. And they taste good. And so that's, that's my biggest thing is taste. Um... Then the evening, wait, two days ago would have been Wednesday, which was the photo shoot. Um, so I had um, 15 french fries at a diner when we were doing one of our photo shoots and a glass of water, two glasses of water. Um, and then my dinner, which was about four hours later, um was pulled pork, mashed potatoes, and salad, which was pretty good. I didn't like the taste of the pork because it tasted like uh, chili, and I hate the taste of chili. Ugh. Um, anyways, so that day I would have been on count. I, I remember, yeah, I counted, and that day I was I was on, on or under 1,500. Uh, yesterday, yep, it's still yesterday, um... My breakfast was the Cheerios and the toast, and the uh, and a cup of coffee. No, no, it wasn't. It was a bottle of water. Um, and then the shoot was in the evening. But my lunch was uh, pizza. I know. I told you these productions. I have to grab something fast because I had to get. I was off school at 2:40. I had to meet at the location for three. So I just ran into Little Caesars, grabbed a hot and ready, and I shared it with my cast, right, so I'm not going to eat the whole pizza, um, but, uh, yeah, so I had that, and, yeah, yeah, the shoot went well, the shoot went very well, I loved working with the, uh, the, the young actress, she was very mature, um, very, uh, professional, still, you know, obviously ten-year-old, um, <laughs> Her maturity wasn't at that point yet, but I mean, what was that? What was that? Anyways, um, there's a hair on my monitor, but I don't want to touch it, or else I'm going to turn something off, and I'm going to have to redo this whole episode, and I'm going to kill something. Um, and so the shoot went really, really well. Um, I met the guy who owns the, who's the housing manager. He is a great person. I have to make five copies of this movie when it's done. Um... Assuming it gets done soon. The first copy is going into one of these babies. So I can uh, send it off to Toronto to apply for Ryerson. Then I've got to get together my portfolio for York. And then I've got to cross my fingers and wait till May. Um, so yeah, for the past couple, the past day has not been good for uh, diet. Uh, my breakfast this morning was, as I said, two eggs, three pieces of sausage, two pieces of toast, and home fries, um, and a coffee. And then my lunch was um, my lunch. I didn't have one. I didn't have a lunch, now that I think about it. I was working the whole time. I didn't get a lunch. Um, and my dinner was an entire medium pizza. A Canadian pizza. Um, 
So just very bad decision for that. Um, very, just the whole day. And now, I'm probably still around seeing as what I had today. No, I'm definitely over 1,500 now that I think about it. Um, yeah, today was... It was also a very high stress day. I felt kind of, uh, yeah, overstressed. Anyways, I think I'm reaching my limit of upload time. I know I can upload over 15, but I don't know if I'm over, you know, 25 or something like that. So, you know, I covered the last three days. I covered my stress level. I covered how poor my habits have been for the past three days. And it shows on the scale. And I'm actually going to tell you, I don't care if it's Wayne Wednesday. I think I've, uh, I'm back at 322 um, today. And uh, that's probably the pizza and the breakfast. Um... But we'll see what it's at in the morning, once it's all digested and broken down and such. Um, man, I don't even know. When I get stressed, all I really do is I, uh, I turn on my amp to a really high distortion. And uh, I know it sounds really, you know, classic guitarist, but uh, I turn my... Uh, guitar onto really, really loud um, distortion, and I just play, and I don't even know. Anyways, I'm going to get back to de-stressing. And, uh, see how that goes. Uh, anyways, I'm sorry, this was not a very fun episode for probably me or you. So I am going to, uh, sign off with a hearty slancha. Have a good night. Well, it's 12.01 now, so, you know, happy Saturday. Hoi hoi. Back to editing. And I do enjoy it. I sound like I don't, but I do. I do. Anyways, good night. Uh, good morning. I'll feed the Zane. Slancha. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, I need sleep.